Hey everyone, Sweaty Zeus here, and here is Ruin Forge Lava Intake. This is going to be our next guide video on the weapon locations for Shadow of the Earth Tree. So, as you work your way through this forge, there's going to be a lot of these enemies. If you run into them, just hit them on that little small red spot on your back, on their back. I'm sure you figured that out. You'll eventually work your way on the bottom level to this dead end. There will be one guarding an item, which is going to be the Smith Script Dagger. Um, that's the one featured in the trailer that was so cool, that had the throwing animations. There's the heavy attacks, here's the quick attacks, and then here is the Ash of War piercing throw. Very cool, doesn't use any FP. Excited to use that. So here in the main room, there's this knocked over pillar, and I ran up here, but I could not find how to get to the lever to lower that intake into the lava so I could run up it. But uh, yeah, you just look to your right when you get to the top. Apparently I'm too stupid to do that, but I finally did. Here's the lever. Uh, once it drops down, obviously you'll just jump on top of it. Work your way up and watch out for the little lava puddle guys that stab at you. And I guess they shoot at you now as well. So jump to your right when you get to the top. Inside this altar or forge, I guess it's an altar it says, will be the anvil hammer and damn is it a unga bunga or bonk weapon as everyone always calls it there's the heavy attacks here's the quick attacks and then the ash of war and we get an ancient dragon smithing stone which is the final upgrade mat pretty sweet as always guys appreciate you watching like and sub and catch you in the next one take care